Hey to everybody, welcome to a very exciting new video about Friday Night Funk in the musical, or it's sort of tangentially related. I'm just gonna let our guests introduce themselves. I am Family Jewels, I do video game metal covers on YouTube is my main thing. I also have a side channel where I do gaming content and I stream on Twitch. Uh, I also contributed guitarists to uh, video games such as uh, Cadence of Hyrule, uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer, and uh, the original Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb DLC. He also plays a very mean cup of mayonnaise. Yes, I, I have, I, I dabble. <laughs> I dabble in mayonnaise. I dabble in mayonnaise. And next door to you. Um, I'm Adriana, and I played Girlfriend in a musical. Um, and I sing on YouTube and Twitch. I do little mini live concerts twice a week. Um, and I also sing for video games. Thank you for giving up time to do something kind of special today. Oh yeah, no. Do we're... you guys know what you're, do you know what we summoned you here for today? Yeah, yeah. More, more or less. Yeah. <laughs> I'm psychic. All right, for the audience who doesn't know at home, uh, today we're going to take some of the questions from Friday Night Funk in the Musical that we were uh, asking boyfriend, I play boyfriend, and we're going to actually answer those questions ourselves. There's also a secret surprise waiting at the end, but just let's start, we'll ease our way in with a couple basic questions from the musical to start with. How about that? <clears throat> Sounds great. All right, everybody ready? Ready yes. Also, also, I, I just realized we never actually answered the second part of the question, so we're already we're already failing. But uh, I played the dad in Friday Night Funk in the musical. Um, I, <laughs> I said who I played. All right. First question from the musical: Do you smoke? Do you drink? Do your armpits tend to stink? No to all three. Hey. Okay. <laughs> all right. No, almost never, and occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> I like the honesty. Yeah, that's yeah. Honest, yeah I think I think I think I'm gonna go with the same. No, yeah, honestly, no, yeah. occasionally, and yeah, occasionally. <laughs> All right, I gotta yeah, be real. I My armpits so. were kind of funky the other day. I don't know how they got that way, but I took one <laughs> sniff and it was like one sniff, <laughs> one sniff to rule them all. Yeah. It, it, it was pretty strong, and uh, I don't smoke or drink, so that's my only, I, I can only say you yes to the armpit stink. Biden want to get a whiff of you? No, no. Uh, no I don't smoke, I drink very, very rarely, and I actually don't think my armpits tend to stink. I'm not a very sweaty person, so. That's true. It's a, I envy you. We're very jealous. You got a job, mm. you little jerks. Technically, yes. I get paid. All, all, th all five this? of us have exactly the same answer to this. I guess <laughs> like, yes. I suppose I do. It's a job, but some people would say it's not real work. Yeah, right. Not the kind of job that a date's parents might actually respect very much. No, I feel like it's a. Uh, the boomer crowd would be like, "That's not a real job." Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You do videos on the internet? Is I, that real? I actually remember when I was starting to date uh, AJ. I had a friend who very quietly suggested that I might not want to depend on him financially. And I just, <laughs> I laughed a lot. <laughs> Do you spit? Pick your nose, suck your thumb, or bite your nails? I bite my nails, absolutely. I do. Adriana, you stopped biting your nails, didn't you? Yeah, I did, I How did. How did you do it? Um, <laughs> gosh, I wish I could show them off like really long right now, but I just like trimmed them down. But yeah, so, what I did was, I think back in December, it was like pre-pandemic for the first time, um, I went and I got like a manicure done with my mom over the holidays and they put on like acrylic tips on them or whatever and that was like, oh, well, I can't bite that. To my surprise, it kind of stuck. It kind of like uh, carried over. Um, wow. That's awesome. I, yeah, I was afraid that I was gonna start doing it again when the like when I couldn't get them done, but now I just now I just have natural nails and yeah. I had a bad nail biting um, habit as well for most of my life. Um, and then the thing that finally broke it was um, I went to school for classical guitar, which requires you to have long nails like I have here. Uh, I guess you can't really see it against so but only three nails need to be long for the most part. So pinky doesn't need to be long, thumb doesn't need to be long. And I figured, okay, I will just only make sure that I only bite my nails on my left hand because that's okay. Nate, do you uh, uh, bite your nails, I do suck not your bite thumb. my nails, suck my thumb, pick, your nose, pick my nose. Spit? Spit sometimes. Oh. Usually uh, not in public. Nasty habit. Nasty. And yeah, it's usually like into the sink or the garbage if there's like something gross, but yeah, definitely not in public places generally. Unless they have a spittoon. Yes, well of ah. course if they have a spittoon, I have to take advantage of it. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I, I used to play baseball, so I spit, and I, I've never been able to break the habit. I thought he was gonna say I used to play spittoon. <laughs> yeah, I used to play spittoon. <laughs> no, spittoon four, uh, spittoon three is coming out, and so I'm getting, are we still talking about the same thing? I, I, I think <laughs> so. I'm trying to think about like. If I were to try to spit, it would probably be like that scene in like the animated Mulan where they're all like uh, being like sorry. all manly and spitting, and she's just like. <laughs> <laughs> just <dribbles. laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. That's, yeah, I've been that's there. That's what I think. Also, I pick my nose a lot. <laughs> well, Jules, Jules has a. Jules, what is your motto about? Yeah, that? actually, we were talking about this, AJ, d- during recording for Friday Night Pumpkin. That like, like God, yes. yeah, like God didn't make <laughs> nose holes finger shaped for no reason. I mean, <laughs> clearly intended to go together, like a right. Lock and a I, I mean, if you weren't supposed to pick your nose, <laughs> then your nose holes wouldn't be finger shaped. And I'm not. Do you own a gun? No. In I California. <laughs> we have a we have a super soaker. We do have a super soaker. Back outs. Yeah. Okay, so technically, we own many guns. They're just fake. They're all yeah, yeah. Nerf, yeah. We, I think we have two Nerf guns and a yeah. super soaker. Yeah. Does a zapper gun count for like NES? Maybe a super. Oh, I thought scope? you were gonna say like a taser. I was like, what? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, we don't even have one of those. Uh, we have a, a staple gun. That's sort of like a gun as well. That is I dangerous. Yeah. yeah. I have a hot glue gun. Ooh, glue gun. Glue oh gun. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, He's on the hot glue gun. Dude, I yeah, have to stay close to the outlet. I think we have a hot glue gun. It's not one. Yeah, we we do not own firearms, which I, I believe <laughs> should have been specified in the in the. Because <laughs> yeah. Do you wear women's clothes? I do. I was yeah, gonna say two I of do, you. I, I feel I, like I do do that. I do do that. It's not really a fair question. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I wear I have I have women's t-shirts. Mm-hmm. Because like sometimes like there'll be like a T-shirt that I really want, but they only have it in women's, and the sleeves are just a little bit shorter, so it just it just shows off the guns, you know, a little bit more. You, you, more do nice yeah. well. you do I, own guns. You do own guns. Oh, I do own guns. Oh man, <laughs> no. I do own guns. I missed the joke. You, knew you were lying. I missed it. He kind of came in with oh, the clutch. Man. With the- <laughs> I wear, I wear women's clothes. I am a woman, but also if you're not a woman. And you wish to wear women's clothes. You can wear whatever you want. They become your clothes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anyone who's met me at a convention uh, has very well possibly seen me wearing Lolita fashion, which Mm. is traditionally considered feminine. um, But it's so dang cute. It's everything that's like Victorian mixed with like Hawaii. And I'm like, I can't get enough of it. Sugary sweet stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is cute. Yeah. On YouTube, everybody wears women's clothes. It's just part of what we do. I was gonna do. say, I feel it's like- the job description. I can't actually speak for Jules because I don't know this for certain, but I know both of these guys have put on traditionally feminine clothing in order to film something or other here. Like the teaser. Yeah, when I was, I was say, yeah. when I thought teaser. of this question, I mean, I yeah. To, <laughs> I had to wear a bunch of women's clothing for uh, Death of a Sim. It's true. I did, I, I, I had to wear women's clothing for theater. We'd be like, oh, we need like 70 female roles. All right, you know, like. Yeah, <laughs> who's gonna play yeah, it? Um, yeah. yeah, no shame. It's it's a choice, and sometimes it's an occupation, even. So perfectly valid. But apparently, this is one of the like most controversial things, by the way, in the musical. I think the number of comments of people being offended on, I guess, boyfriend's behalf for being asked something like this by the parents. I understand that, like, she's aggressive about it, but Which, actually, I always felt like the line was included to make her more aggressive and flirtatious, and like mm. really leaning into that, like, listen, she. She could be into it. Who knows? Who really knows? We don't know. We, that's all. I, that's all. I definitely, as the person that played the character, thought she was into it. So. <laughs> yeah. I, that's what I inferred. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Next, next question. Uh, got any moles, warts, or unsightly rashes? I do have moles somewhere. I've got, okay, so I got like a, a little birthmark. Wrong shoulder. Where is it? No, that's a shoulder. I can feel it. It's right there. I got one right there. And then I had a, a spot up here on my foot, like a, a little mole, that came there like during puberty. And uh, when my mom saw me come home from college without shoes on at some point, and she was like, how long have you had that? And I'm like, I don't know, since puberty, which is like 10 years ago. <laughs> but she was like, do you need to get that checked? And I'm like, no, it's fine. It's been there. It's chilling. We're vibing together. It's okay. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I feel like I just have like random ones. I, so I used to have one right here. I don't know if you can see that little scar, but I used to have one right here on my hand, but it, they removed it because, yeah, I don't know. It's good to, uh, just for 
for the general safety of anyone watching this, if you have like little moles and stuff, it's good to get them checked out. It's good to get them checked out because there's like, I don't know, whatever, I'm not, I'm not gonna get into it. But it could be, you know, they could grow into something bad like skin cancer. You could you, die. You could die. I don't wanna, <laughs> listen, I don't wanna, anyway. I don't wanna alarm you, but you might it's just, die. It's just safe, like this wasn't like, you know, this wasn't like cancerous. Yeah. It's just yeah. like, you know, sometimes they're like, oh, that might, you know, that might be an issue. So they can just, and then yeah. it's not an issue. Easy, easy, Be healthy, easy. be safe. Yeah, don't grow a second I head, like as Nate said. Do you know? The Muffin Man. It's the most serious question. I so this is actually man. a very, very interesting uh, question to have been asked in this musical because the developer of the game, his name is Ninja Muffin. And that was um, something I thought was the joke, but apparently AJ's just... A, a random in, a, a random it was a random it encounter. was a random encounter so let's assume that the muffin man might actually be the game developer ninja muffin do you guys know him he came to my chat when I played uh, Friday Night Funkin um, on, on Twitch so I don't know him personally but he did say hi and he was very very nice he was very 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 cool. uh, very, very polite and respectful in my chat uh, do you have a retirement plan yes you Does might be the only person on YouTube retiring. with one of those. We actually had a long conversation about this in the car during the uh, the musical shoot about how like I remember I thought it was funny that it came up. My retirement plan is to just die. Yeah, <laughs> that actually might be girlfriend's parents' favorite option. Actually, it's like yeah, get, get I'm just started. Gonna die. Go die someplace. Leave our daughter alone. No. Uh, how do you feel about modern non-objective art? This doesn't make sense. And this has been bothering me. <laughs> this has been bothering me ever since we filmed this. Modern, non-objective art. Does this mean that the art that we're, first of all, speaking of is is non-postmodern, which is where I think we're, we're kind of at now with, with the art scene. Modern would be kind of more, you know, maybe, maybe like late late 21st century art, late, or late 20th century, 1900s would be modern art. And so non-objective would kind of infer that, like, uh, that there is objective art. So so that is my question to you. What is objective art? Objective art, from my minimal research, and I'll be real, I only did like <laughs> Would it just be a like couple a hours of research or something? because of this line. Objective art Maybe. is essentially a form of abstract art. They're almost, um, what do you call it? Not the same, but it's like an umbrella term. So objective art, cubism, for example, is a form of objective art, or maybe it's the other way around, maybe. If that is the art you enjoy, then I'm all for it. <laughs> it's very accommodating. <laughs> yeah. Wearing, like like a, a black dress and like holding one of those like long cigarettes yes. and have your hair done up for you to say that again. Next question, do you have tattoos? No. Nope. No. I, I don't have a tattoo. I got far enough to be scheduling a tattoo appointment and then have my tattoo artist told me he wasn't super on board with what I wanted to do and so What kind of stopped. hateful thing were you gonna tattoo I, I, I had a lot of text and Greek text in it and he was like, this won't last. And I was like, but I want it to, so okay. That sounds like a Gwen thing to get tattooed. I do Jules, not have tattoos. tattoos. I think many people might be surprised at that, but I, I have zero tattoos. I'm a little. I will admit, I expected all the rest of us to say no and you to say yes and be like, I have a secret Pikachu on the bottom of my heel. What size are your shoes? This will be interesting. 12. <laughs> uh, that's not that interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I actually do have clown feet. It's weird. I have very, very, very yeah. large feet. Where do you keep these clown feet? <laughs> In your closet? <laughs> On my legs, Nate. I don't know. <laughs> oh, 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 then yours. I, uh, I also wear a size 12 like Jules, which is why he's the fake hedgehog and I'm the real one. Or is it the other way around? Mm, I have size 5 feet. They are small, like me. That's understandable. I don't know what anybody would expect. Like, I have <laughs> yeah. size 16 feet. Men 16, like, wow. yeah. Has your appendix been removed? Not yet. <laughs> Not that I know of. 
There's <laughs> always a child. She got your I think they would have told you if they took it. Not that it I depends know on of. who took it. Yeah, it depends <laughs> on who took it. I mean, the general assumption is that I'm not letting someone just take it willingly. I assume it's like it goes bad. You don't get it without a fight. Firsts and those things. I don't even know where to find it. So if I was gonna take someone else's, I'd have to like sort through half their body first. I mean, if someone offered me like a couple hundred bucks, they could have it. Yeah, uh, see, so I, I wouldn't miss it. it. It's, it's I'm not like doing me any good. I know. I can't remember the last time I was like, ow, my appendix. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody here know your blood type? No. O positive. Mm. Really? Oh, you get your blood drawn a lot. Or taken? Taken. taken. Stolen. I <laughs> by aliens. Yeah, by aliens. Yes. That's where your appendix went, Nate. He says, ask them next time they're drawing blood from you. Uh, do you need an appendix donation you take as well? the appendix as well? It's not doing me. Yeah. I don't think they're qualified. I don't know mine. Yeah. I don't know. I, I just have absolutely no idea. Does it say a driver's license someplace? No. Oh. It's Where do like, I find this out? You go to your doctor and you say, I want to know. And then they go, <laughs> or you donate, well, it's or weird you donate like, blood and they tell oh. you. I could I could tell you what my blood type is, but I wouldn't be positive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was great. That was great. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> two of us liked it, two of us didn't. <laughs> Liked being a looster. <laughs> Have you ever been to Spain? No, but no. I'd love to go. No. It would be very Nobody? nice, though. Nobody. Okay. Uh, the closest I've gotten is France. Sorry, Spanish people watching. We're, we're coming for you one day. Someday. All of us are going to show up in Spain. Someday. And you know I'll, cool castles. I'll, I'll, yeah, so so when Random Encounters goes to Spain, bring me on as your translator. Mm. Hey! Done. You, I think I forgot. You can speak Spanish. I can, yes. Do you recycle? Glass and cans specifically, but I'll accept anything, really. We recycle. We ever recycle. Human bones. <laughs> How do you recycle those? Compost. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I don't think you get the recycle. Uh, <laughs> yes, we, I, I recycle. I recycle my appendix into other people that have had to have theirs yes. taken out. We also recycle glass and cans and paper and... Occasionally electronic waste? Does occasionally that get recycled or no? Waste. Yeah, it I gets... <laughs> It's technically cons it's called e-waste recycling. I don't. Okay. I assume they, they find some something. way to safely part of the wiring or something. Take it like apart, wires and break stuff? it down. Yeah. So. It's mostly glass and cans, though. I will fully admit because yeah, we it's... drink a lot of soda, so that is a lot of, of glass and cans. Yeah, okay, you guys were here. You saw how much soda we were chugging. <laughs> <laughs> we have a problem. I know. <laughs> uh, do you brush twice a day? I sure yes. try. I sure try. You do no. You take you take like really great care of your teeth. Thank you. Wow, congratulations. That's that's I great. Take great care of other people's teeth too. Yes. <laughs> so, I have a few different collections. I take care of all of them. All right, and then our last question from the musical: Do you eat gluten, soy, eggs, or whey? I all eat of them. Or human meat, <laughs> which is not on here, but. I don't I, eat human meat. I accept human yet. meat too. Uh, I avoid gluten. You avoid gluten. I avoid it. I eat it sometimes when it is super duper yummy because I'm not like very allergic to it. Okay. But I do consistently feel better, which is like less tired and less achy um, if I don't eat gluten. So. Okay. Do you avoid any of those things, Nate? No. No? I, I don't seek them out, but I don't avoid them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm kind of the same. I, I'm on a weird diet. Um, it's 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 called the warrior diet. Typically, I don't have a lot of time to eat in the day anyway, so it's pretty much just whatever I end up being like, either getting delivered or I really want to try one of those food plans. If you mm -hmm. get, if you get sponsored with a food plan, here's the time to to slot it in. Don't waste time and money with regular butters when you can have exotic butters. So these are all the questions uh, that I had written down from the musical. But there's also a backside of this page I've got here oh. that has all the rejected questions sure. that didn't make it in for various reasons. So I was hoping we could take a a, a couple minutes here and just. I like, I, was, I like to imagine these questions are the ones that uh, boyfriend's dad ah. asked his girlfriend. <laughs> we didn't get to these ones. <laughs> we got cut off too quickly. We'll ask a person one at a time to pick a number, and then we'll read uh, a question for you uh, based on that number of the list. So now- And then you get to answer it. 
You're not. You're not in the hot. You're in the hot seat yes. now. Only you are answering this question. Yes, but if you don't want to answer this, you can popcorn the question over to somebody else instead, and you can mm. maybe I'll do that just to, to mess with somebody if I want to hear their answer instead. <laughs> Be real. <laughs> How scary! This is so scary. Very scary. Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen for me. Fifteen. Uh, who wants to read him? Fifteen. Jules, how do you feel about solar energy? And this is your like Miss America question. <laughs> I think solar energy is great because, you know, obviously it's a renewable energy source and I don't think that we're ever going to really like, well, I mean, I, I don't want to say ever. I don't think we're going to be able to flip over to renewable energy sources anytime soon. So I'm actually a big proponent for nuclear energy and I think that we should use nuclear energy to help us kind of bridge the gap um, from using fossil fuels over to renewable energy. Obviously, everybody's going to be like, oh, we have to use all renewables. We have to use wind. We need to use solar and everything like that. But but like realistically, we don't get enough uh, stuff from renewable energy sources to be able to make that leap for the amount of energy that humans, you know, use, you know, right now among the entire population of humans, so. That's great, but I'm still gonna give the crown to Gracie Lou Freebush from Miss Congeniality. <laughs> Nate, why don't you ask her the... I'm scared, I'm scared. Seven. 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 Oh, this is an interesting one. No. Remember, you can popcorn, the, you can popcorn these if you want. I'm gonna. How many X's do you have? Zero. Wow. I have the, Jules is the, the only person I've ever dated. Hey. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> that's Not bad. Cool. That's super unique too. I don't feel like that's <laughs> common for people. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Well, it's a good thing you didn't get that question. <laughs> the right person in the room is always that. time to add another X. <laughs> and if he plays his no. card right, I'll always have zero Xs. There you go. I that's like right, that. Jules. <laughs> <laughs> Jules has like the help me sign like do I, do I count as an ex if I murdered? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the line is. Hold on a second. But zero alive ex. <laughs> <laughs> dun dun dun. The question is, do you get enough vitamin D? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> What vitamin is that again? What does it do? That's the sunlight, sunlight one. one. Yeah, that's the sunlight one. Uh, Definitely not. <laughs> it like boosts your immune system. Especially really not this year when yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. I won't do anything. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this yeah. year's been terrible for. for this would have been a great though. time to invest in vitamin D supplements. AJ, are you allergic to cats or bees? No, actually, I have no allergies that I know of whatsoever. But are you allergic to cat bees? Cat bees are the most <laughs> feared of all Is that cats like and dog? bees. Just imagine the penelope with little wings uh, and a stinger. Very right? Little cute. fangs as well. Very yeah. dangerous. Penelope has already stung my heart. Very oh. cute, very cute. I want number 24. 24? Have you taken driver's ed? Twice. <laughs> twice. Hey, let's That's go. You're twice, you're, you're, you're twice as good as everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it must mean, right? Yeah. So uh, I took driver's ed once when I was 21-ish um, and then failed to complete all the driving hours I needed to actually graduate to a full license after that. Yeah. So my learner's permit expired. Uh, the state I was in required that kind of thing. Uh, and then I took it again when I was 25, and then, then I succeeded. <laughs> so how many hours of driver's ed did you end up putting in overall? Uh, oh my gosh, what is the requirement? Um, I feel like I did 40 in-class hours, and then like 12 behind the wheel hours with a teacher, and then a hundred and some driving hours after that. It she was... really is the best driver of all of no, us, I I'm guess. Not. No, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, the, the bar is pretty low when you're in California. <laughs> That's true. True. Yeah, yeah. drivers here, it's like a magnet for bad drivers, I feel like. We're all like, oh, I'll move to California and go crash my car instead. We, we, okay, we, okay. Have, not, we have non-objective driving laws in California. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jules, we're back to you. 21. Jules. Do you live like a slob? <laughs> no judgment, absolutely none. This no. sounds weighted as well. 
No, I, I was gonna say, we can see your background here, and you have a lot of the, the, the fun same video game stuff that we've got back here, I was just thinking. I mean, we I both can... got some Animal Crossing going on, I think we both got some Kirby. Like, not a slob, maybe a collector, but not a slob. Uh, listen, I can help him answer. Sometimes he does, but it's because of me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> not because of him. <laughs> this is like falling on the grenade for someone. I'm no, like, no, no, jump on no, that. no, but like, see, any time that his space is, if they're messy, it is not because of him. 20? Can you cook or bake? I can bake. What do you like to bake? Um, I like to bake... Uh, well, when I was in high school, I really liked baking strawberry cupcakes. And that sounds really good. Recently, I learned how to make these guava pastries that my mom and my grandma taught me how to make. And basically, you just... You get, like, the sort of... It's like the flaky kind of pastry thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what okay. they're called. But is that called pastry dough? That like flakes yeah. up when you? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you basically okay. make like little like pastry raviolis, and you put like cream cheese and guava in them, and then you oh, pop wow. them in, and then they and then they puff up and stuff, and you put powdered sugar on them, and they're pretty good. They're very very awesome. good. They're they're delicious. I, I want like five of them. Sounds a little involved for me. I'm not sure I can <laughs> follow that many instructions through. The extent um, of AJ's baking is like, like, I take the... I got the dough, and then I eat it. And that's yeah. the end of the baking process. Me too. That's I me too for baking. I do too sometimes. As far as cooking, mm, boy, do I, I like putting stuff in the microwave. Yeah. She, she's very good at making very good mac at and that. cheese in the microwave. Have you ever been to detention? No. Oh, let's no. go! No. He's no. surprised no. by it too. He's like, no. I, I, had, I was like, no, I've never been to detention. I've only actually been to the principal's office once, mm. and it was like not even a big thing. They were like, don't do that. You're fine. Go away. <laughs> it was like, why is this guy in the principal's office? He's never been here ever. So, yeah, yeah it makes sense. I'm, can't, can't I'm really jealous. I'm jealous he got that one because I've never been to detention either. Can't really. I've been to every detention. <laughs> <laughs> you you want all the like, ones I, for me. I, I was I was the opposite when like when I wasn't in the uh, principal office, people would be like, "Where's Jules? <laughs> I'm supposed <laughs> I to be here." It. Have you broken a bone? No, I have never broken a bone. I don't know why I have never broken. Is it <laughs> someone else's? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 The other I literally guy. have no experience. Call with an this. ambulance, Which but not, not for me. me. <laughs> for, for the number of stupid things I've done and the number of ways I've hurt myself over the years, like filming and stuff, yeah, no broken bones yet. As far as AJ doesn't have like a fractured spine. From, like, you better, you better knock on some wood. You're gonna break something on the next. I'm, I'm, he, he, I'm, jumped, I'm, he jumped off a two-story uh, balcony in college what? to see if he could do it. That's it was, amazing. Uh, we were doing a Batman video, and we wanted I wanted Batman to jump off the balcony. But we weren't gonna ask Batman to do that. So after everybody went home for the night, I decided like, I just need to know if this stunt is okay so we can ask him to do it tomorrow. Or like, I'll put on the suit and do it. So like without anybody there, I just jumped off to test it. And I landed and like, I thought I was like, I'm fine. But then my body kept going. It didn't stop after I landed. And so the rest of me just hit the ground and just laid in the street <laughs> for like 10 my minutes. God. Like, oh! That sounds awful. And then I crawled back inside and I was like, we're not doing that. This it's bad not safe. decisions with AJ. <laughs> What kind of music do you like? Mm. We're all judging you. Uh, I like a lot of music. There are three different music channels I know. judging you. Modern, non-objective. Um, yes. <laughs> I feel like I go through like phases where I'm like, I'm gonna listen to a lot of Broadway, or like mm. I'm gonna listen to a bunch of like pop music off the radio because I'm perfectly okay basic. with that. <laughs> I'm fairly basic, okay? I will admit it. I've been listening to a lot of Taylor Swift recently. Yo! I am not ashamed. Wait, but which album? Which album? Uh, the the, the re-record of Fearless. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and I, like, I listen to a lot of, like, Panic at the Disco and Fall Out Boy. Yo! I, <laughs> Pop it off. Like, I feel like I, I just get into moods where I'm like, this is my style, and I'll I'll live in this music style for a couple weeks, and then I'll find a, a new one. But there, there's some I come back around to frequently, which I think is probably Panic at the Disco, Taylor Swift, and Broadway. So she's speaking my language. Speaking <laughs> my language. Uh, do you go to church? I do not go to church. Is that the like? Is that the? 
like lighter way of saying suck let the devil tea. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did ask suck let the devil's tea. Yeah, uh, so I think, I think another one of these is more. Um, Maybe oh, he was Gwen's right ahead. Him when he asked if he suckled at the devil's tea. <laughs> <laughs> Like a personal question. Yeah. It just hit me like a second round you after I was like, oh. <laughs> yikes. Did you pass chemistry? Yeah. <laughs> she sounds insulted you even asked. <laughs> yeah. 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 I didn't take chemistry. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing you didn't get that one then. I was, I was a high then? honor student. Ah. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> more hair, more hair. Keep it coming. <laughs> <laughs> My high school um, chemistry teacher said <laughs> she said that I am like a normal human, but just scaled down in Photoshop. <laughs> and it's true. <laughs> But like you know how like if, yeah if if you, you see like, a, like imagine taking a picture of like average human being average human woman and then just taking oh, it yeah. in Photoshop and going <laughs> little yeah yeah and like I think of it very often I don't know why that that is probably more than anything that I actually learned in the class it's probably what has stuck with me from that class got any hobbies got any hobbies I. Yes, I mean, <laughs> what kind of question is this? Parents this sometimes so, ask these things when you're getting. This is so vague. This is like. Hey, they all broader. almost made it in the musical one way or another. Some of them actually yes. got rhymed to other things. Plenty of hobbies, games, movies, exciting what adventures kind of movies? when we're not in a pandemic. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, okay. Uh, I, can, can I can I add an, something to the question? Of course. Sure. Do you have any hobbies that you don't monetize? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't monetize watching movies. <laughs> that's fair. Really that's fair. I guess, that. but you, but you make films. Mm, that's. Do you have any hobbies that are not related to your job? I think that's a better. That's yeah. A better. Yes, the people I keep in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next question. And there go his chances of getting a date. Well, now, now I'm just curious. Of the five of us, how many can immediately name a hobby that has nothing to do with what we get paid for? Meditation. Uh, okay. Okay, cool. That's a really good one. So Jules one. wins the <laughs> so far. I read books. I don't think I get paid to yeah, do anything that, Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's a that really, is a good one. Reading is a good one. Um, I like playing with putty. <laughs> Your nails. <laughs> Your nails. That's true. No, no. Yeah. Have you seen just... those putty channels? You know the channels where they just sit there and they like they rub the putty. Oh, the slime That's channels. what she does. Slime channels. She does. She does that. Gotcha. Actually, I haven't done it. Well, okay, but then ooh, but then I haven't done it in a while because then I got this new hobby, which was taking care of my nails. Uh oh. Uh, there was a time I feel like where I was trying to go out and play tennis again because mm. I kind of like the idea of being outside and being active, but yeah. I've never been good at it or anything. So it's, and you also have to find somebody else to play with you. So that's, that's yeah, it's the closest thing to a hobby that's not monetizable, I guess. Or I hugging my cat. I have a hobby. Yeah, I was gonna say I have a hobby, and it is petting animals mm. and <laughs> yeah. interacting with that. An- that's kind of some not not monetize animal. yet. <laughs> there you go. Please, please, somebody pay me for sponsor. Pay. Sponsor please, me please. by paying me in puppies. AJ, number twenty-two on this list of rejected questions: Do you pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all? Not all the far. international people are like, "What is he talking about? <laughs> but, but, Why but is he crazy? How, how it's often like, do you pledge your allegiance to indoctrination? <laughs> Now, as an adult, I can't remember the last time we were all told to say the Pledge of Allegiance. I stopped saying the Pledge of Allegiance in high school. I I personally haven't said the Pledge of Allegiance like on a regular basis since kindergarten. Yeah. But I do like how ingrained it is. That's right. As a homeschooler, you probably didn't like ever. You didn't pledge allegiance to the flag. Oh my god. (laughs) Nobody even made me get out of bed. In sixth grade, I had Mr. Spees as our teacher. And he was a German immigrant. He was a German immigrant, so not only did we have to do the pledge, we actually sang the national anthem every single morning. <laughs> Let's go. We would stand up and we would do like, well, it was also like, it was like a Christian private school, so we would do like the, the prayer, some prayer or whatever, and then 
So I probably like if I had to if I had to remember the lyrics I might because I had to do it like every play any sports. No. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. Gwen does extreme reading. Extreme costume extreme design. Costume <laughs> design. Mario Tennis. <laughs> I'm Ring fit adventure. We I'm not bowling. A sport person. I think we figured out at a very early age that I was a uh, only do sports if you can stand still while doing them kind of person. <laughs> so like baseball. No, but, yeah. but the second rule is no sport that includes a bat. I am the kind of child, I've, I've had, I'm trying to remember now how many now, like six or seven concussions in my life. It Two shows. of them are from baseball bats. Oh my God, that um, was without a beat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, they were all at once. Somebody just <laughs> beat her over the head with a baseball bat for 10 minutes. <laughs> no, one of them was from diving off of a, a big mat onto a concrete floor head first. One of them was- Why would you do that? Why would you jump off the concrete onto the mat? Gwen and AJ just yeah, jumping off of the floor. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm just really not not a physical person, y'all. When I was in elementary school, I figured out that you wouldn't have to go to PE if, if you weren't feeling well. So, and PE was like after lunch. So I remember I would be like, oh, I feel like my stomach hurts. I like think my lunch didn't settle well. And I was doing that a lot. And then one day the teacher was just like, so I've noticed that this happens every day at PE. <laughs> Is there a reason you don't want to go to PE? And I was like, mm. <laughs> I don't remember what I said, but yeah, I was like, I, I pushed the line too far and they noticed. <laughs> so I get you, yeah, Gwen. I get you. I, I did. <laughs> I did I that with Spanish class, actually, with a band oh. lessons. I oh, yeah? kept like, scheduling my trumpet lesson during Spanish class and saying, oh, I have a trumpet lesson right now. And she didn't mind the first like two months of doing it. <laughs> but at some point, she was like, I checked with your band teacher, and they said that you get to pick your own times. Why are you always picking my class? And it was like, oh, 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 oh no, I'm going to spend your own. Busted. Busted. <laughs> uh, that's all the questions today. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Of and course. I Welcome. hope that the people watching this video in the comments will let us know which of us they think stands the best chance of impressing Daddy Dearest and Mommy Mirest enough to actually get that date. Uh, and thank you two for joining us. Like I said, it took a bit of your time up and I appreciate you jumping in and sharing some fun stories with us and stuff. They're really funny. It's always a pleasure getting to do just about anything with you guys. Please subscribe to both of these super talented, amazing, wonderful people. Their links are right down in the description below. And uh, they've been in a whole bunch of other musicals with us here, but they do their own music as well. And it's fantastic. Do you guys have a project you want to promote specifically? I think I think the main thing I would say is just uh, join me on Twitch. If you are not, or if you have not already joined me on Twitch and checked out my live concerts. Twitch.tv slash Family Jewels or witness actual good content at twitch.tv slash Adriana Figueroa. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you again for joining us, you two. And we'll see you guys all on this channel in the future for other behind the scenes videos. Beard salute! Bye bye! bye. bye.